powerful brown ink. It's Captain Flamingo. Tired of being a kid in a world built for grown-ups, Milo Powell decided to become a superhero. He's a shining peak of justice for kids everywhere. With his powerful novelty items. And trusty sidekick Elizabeth. Look out for the colorful and clueless Captain Flamingo. In Flamingo Vision, where available. Mild-mannered Milo Powell, a.k.a. <laughs> Captain Flamingo, looking forward to a nice visit to Grandma's house when an old enemy comes to call. The Grandma Sweater! Doesn't it look darling? When I hid you in Dad's golf bag, I thought I'd seen the end of you. I don't want to hear another word, Milo. We're going to Grandma's and you're wearing the sweater she made you. End of discussion. <laughs> end of discussion? Or is this the end of Captain Flamingo? How can our hero possibly fight the Grandma Sweater's itch-making wool of doom? <laughs> or its hideous, blinding rainbow of shame? How will Captain Flamingo survive, hmm? Let's just do this. Frankly, and without humor. That's how. <laughs> And I'd like to offer the Tribune an exclusive interview with... What do you mean you never heard of Captain Flamingo? He's the champion of the Lil' Kid. He's pink, mm. he's outrageous... Hello? Hello? Hmm, so the Trib wants a hot story? Well, I'll get them a hot story. Ah, and there he is. Your father and I are going to go up and bring Grandma downstairs. I want you to sit here in your sweater. We want Grandma to see you in it. Understood? Yeah. We'll only be gone a few minutes. Phew. Uh, hi, Milo. Do you visit in your grandma, too? Yes, I'm visiting my grandma. Did you forget your bathing suit or something? No, I did not forget my bathing suit or something. Well, aren't you hot in that sweater? You, Water Wings, out of the adult swim lane. <laughs> well, well, why don't you take it off then? Gee, I didn't think of that! I'm not telling you again. Boy, you're in a bad mood. <laughs> Your mom's making you wear it, huh? Don't feel bad, Milo. My mom still dresses me too. No kidding. Oh, no! Hey, what's going on? Kid in trouble! A hot story for the paper! What's wrong, Max? Pardon? I don't get you. The pool cleaner robot made a with your bathing suit, and now you're naked and can't get out of the pool? <laughs> well, don't worry, little naked kid. I'll save you. Where is this pool cleaner beast? Yikes! Is that an innocuous two-wheeled water filtering device, or...? A giant octopus stingray killer mutant bot monster. Holy cow! It is! Will Captain Flamingo defeat the giant octopus stingray killer mutant bot monster thingy? Or will it just make him, well, pee in the shallow end? Stay tuned. That pool bot! It's on a rampage! What are we gonna do, Captain? That's not our problem, Lisbeth. We have to find <gasps> Max's bathing suit. <gasps> the robot's having it for lunch. We'll see about that. Plastic play monkey. 
Cheese. Genius. You've got something. You! Bathing cap! Blue tights! What are you doing? N nothing. Just playing horsey. What? Can't you read? Rule number nine, no horseplay. Bathing cap, second warning. Water wings, go reapply your sunscreen or something. Yes, sir. Got a sound bite for the press, Captain? That evil robot spit out that suit as soon as it sinks its evil robot teeth into this. Yucky tasting brand garlic gum? Comes in mild, yucky, and ultra yucky with yuck lumps. Huh? What, what happened? Must have swallowed it whole. Very clever. Ha <laughs> ha Garlic in! <laughs> Who has food or drink in the pool area? Uh, he does. All right, jockey shorts, out of the pool. I can't believe you. Captain, it's gone to the deep end. <laughs> no running. No diving! No cannonballs! I got nothing against jumping. Just as I feared. It's uh, scary down there. But you're really brave and newsworthy, so you're going after it, right? I am. That's what my press release says. Oh, uh, then, okay. But no widow kids ever gone down to the bottom of the pool. It's crazy deep down there. That's right, Max. At least five feet. But how will you defeat the naked Maggie pool monster? Yes, must think. Hmm, must think. I know, I know. Give me a sec. <gasps> the robot's off button, of course. <whistles> hey, Captain, over there. Huh, what? <gasps> You're getting warmer. I am? Where am I? Warmers? Uh oh. Warmer? Warmer! You're getting hot! Hi. Hotter? Hotter? You're burning up! You're red hot! You're on fire! That's it! Huh? If this sweater makes me so hot I can barely move, imagine what it'll do to the pool monster! Sorry, Grandma. But. What is that super heroic genius boy up to now? gobbles up. It's a very, very small fortune. <laughs> All right, blue tights. You've got some explaining to do. <sighs> I'll say. Milo <laughs> Powell, what have you been doing? And where's your grandma's sweater? I, uh, oh, I... <gasps> Hello? News desk? Have I got a story for you. But there's this little kid in trouble Look, and... Milo, 
There's a time to play Flamingo Man and a time to obey your father. What are you going to tell Grandma? Milo, show me your sweater. I... Ah. Mark and I just had to get a picture of the heroic <laughs> little boy who sacrificed his sweater to save a little kid and the retirement home's missing knitting club money. Um... All in pennies. <laughs> Milo? Oh. You found our knitting club money? Yeah, and I'm really sorry, but I lost my special grandma sweater. Oh, that's okay, Milo. <laughs> ah, there's always more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> oh, you are my favorite square-shaped little boy. <laughs> You and me both, ma'am. You and me both. Captain Flamingo, looking out for little kids in a big way. <laughs>